Hi again everyone, it's Fiona from Lavender Blue. Welcome back to my channel. And today um, I just had a little tutorial. I wanted to show you how you can make your own um, alcohol ink sprays. And this is using acrylic paints. And it's really quite easy. Um, here's some examples of some that I've just made, the yellow and the blue. Um, so you can see, I'm not sure you can see there the effect that you get. So you can make your own ink sprays in any sort of, any colours you like. So, you know, depending on the colour paints you have, and of course you can mix your paint colours to make another colour. So I just thought it, it was a really great thing if you like to decorate your own background papers and pages in your journals or you like to do mixed media art and that kind of thing. So all you need are some, obviously your acrylic paint colours, the colours of your choice. And then you need some spray bottles. And I've got these little ones here, uh, they're little glass ones, and then I've got some bigger ones here. And they just came from like my local cheap craft supply store. Um, they're really cheap to buy, they don't cost much money. I think for these four it might have been five dollars or something. And then um, probably about three dollars for a couple of these. So they're really easy to come by. And then you'll need some alcohol. And this one is it's isopropyl isopropyl alcohol is um, the one that most people use. Um, it's also called rubbing alcohol. And normally you would find it in I found this one in my supermarket in the uh, the medical section because it's used as like an antiseptic um, kills germs on the skin you can also clean your hands with it um, yeah it's used for lots of things like that but this is generally um, good enough to use and it doesn't matter what percentage it is as long as it is the rubbing alcohol um, and another good use for this actually is for wiping down your um, benches and things. If, um, I mean, I wouldn't go wiping down my best uh, wooden furniture or anything, but if it's like a laminated type of a surface, um, so good for cleansing, for cleaning surfaces like that, kitchen benches and um, get things really clean. You may not like the smell, but um, it doesn't really bother me. Because um, I used to work in a laboratory um, as a laboratory technician, and um, we used to clean down all of our benches with alcohol. So it doesn't bother me. But let's get into how we make these. So for the little one, I sort of worked out a bit of a formula because... It was too difficult to actually pour the alcohol straight into these little tubes because it's got such a small opening. Um, what colour am I going for next? I'm going to make an orange. So I might yeah, put that in one of these little ones. Um, I have cleaned them out, but uh, it was a little bit difficult to get all of the paint off, but that's okay, because this is not too far off an orange, it's a pink. So with this one, I, I also um, use a dropper bottle, and these are also really easy to come by. Um, so what I do is I get my paint first, and I worked out with these little ones, you only need like one little pea-sized dob of paint. 
don't need much at all. So about a little pea-sized bit of paint. That's probably even too much there. I'll just sort of push that in a little bit with my finger. As you put the alcohol in, um, it will hopefully run down a little bit. We're going to shake this in a minute anyway, so that's okay. So I just get, I'll just wipe my fingers, just get this bottle of alcohol and I'm going to fill up the lid because it's got a little hole there, it's way too hard to fill up that so I'm just putting it in the lid and then I'm going to use my dropper to fill up oh, to put some in this little bottle here and that needs to be takes a little while a few squirts too long And you won't really know if it's the colour that you want until, um, whoops, I'm dropping it on the, until after you've mixed it. So then you can decide whether you want to add some more paint or not. And around about a lid full kind of does it, these little ones. Get the rest of that paint off there. And I'll give it a mix. a little bit watery to me but we can test it on a piece of paper might have to mix the paint in a little bit better I do prefer the bigger the bigger bottles because they make it a lot easier These are good if you're making a colour that you may not use a lot of. There we go. And that's the orange. That actually looks okay. Um, this is not watercolour paper. It's just cardstock. So it's not going to soak it up quite the same as watercolour paper. But yep, I may add a little bit more painting to that one. It all depends on, um, you know, how deep you want your colour to be. Let's put it onto here. I can do it without making a big mess onto the little thing there and then put it in. It also depends on your paint. Some paint brands are a bit more translucent than others so you'll just have to play around with that.
And yep, yeah, I think that's nice and orange there. Okay. So that's the little bottles. So we don't need this for the big bottles. Let's just wipe the lid out there. Of that and so now I'm going to do a green and my green just happens to be um, a metallic paint but I think that's going to be nice so I'm going to use this one and I used in my blue one around about three so around about three pea-sized um, dots. So I just went one, two, three. So about that much paint. And then I can just pour it straight in. And I didn't even fill it all the way up, probably about three quarters of the way. And give it a good mix. And these, if you've sealed them tightly and uh, you know, you give them a good mix each time you use them, they should be fine. They should last quite a long time. Um, because alcohol is a good preservative. So they'll last you for months and months. And if it's sealed tightly, they shouldn't evaporate too quickly or anything like that. got a fair bit of paint there oh and you can see the metallic in this one you can see the little metallic flecks not sure if you can see it's like a metallic that's going to be nice I'm going to do a gold one as well I really like the metallic paint Okay, so we still need to mix it a little bit, but I'll just test that out. There's the green, and yep, that is a little bit pale for me. I'll have to add more paint. But we still haven't mixed it all in yet. Going to... You can grab a stick or you can use the end of your little squirty thing here to scrape it off the side. And I might even add just another little dob of paint. And that's a little bit more depth of colour there. But yeah, just have a play around. The orange one's turned out really well. Still fairly bright there. We've got our metallic green. Our yellow. Our orange. 
that's a cadmium yellow that I used there. This is, I think it's called yellow orange. It's a Montmarty colour. And this was cerulean blue, which is like a sky blue. So there you have it. It's as easy as that. If you want to go ahead and make all your, your own alcohol inks, that's how you do it. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.